What up guys, J-Pops in the house. Today, we're gonna be talking about the latest Funko Pop reveals for London Toy Fair. All right guys, so London Toy Fair, I believe is January 21st, which is actually today as of me recording this video. So it's similar, if you guys don't know, it's similar to like New York Toy Fair or just Toy Fair, where they have displays of all the, the figures and it's not just pops that will be released throughout the year. So you'll see it's like some protos, you'll see like the actual figures that are there. Um, so in this video, we're just gonna be covering Funko Pops, obviously, or just Funko products. So I'll start with what was announced first and then we'll just keep it moving from there. As always, if you guys are looking for pre-order links, or anything as like dates as to when these guys will arrive because they can arrive like whenever throughout the year check the links in the description box below so i'm gonna start with the soccer pops they call them european football league european football soccer the first set of pops we have is chelsea and i believe that's the team i don't know much about soccer chelsea and golo kante chelsea kepa arizabalaga and christian pulisic from the, the Chelsea team, I believe. If that's the actual Chelsea team, if that's what Chelsea means, let me know. I'm assuming that's what it means because then the next slide, we have a Liverpool, uh, Sadio Main is the player in football Liverpool. So I'm assuming that's the team. PSG Presno Kimpembe. I have I've never even heard of that. And the last two players are from Manchester City, but I do not know um, their names. Such a shame. But those are pretty cool pops if you guys like soccer or if you guys like, you know, sports pops in general, they look pretty much similar to all the other soccer pops where they just hold in the soccer ball or, you know, their foot is on the soccer ball. Very cool if you guys are looking to add to the sports section of your collection. Moving on, we have some cyberpunk pops. Now, I believe this is an upcoming game, so I don't know much about these characters. Obviously, everything is like very new, but there is four. there are four common pops and one exclusive. We have cyberpunk 2077 V-male pop, a V-female pop, Takamura pop, Johnny Silver Silverhand and Johnny Silverhand 2. That Johnny Silverhand pop is actually pretty cool because if you guys see it close up, you see like he's got like kind of like a Terminator hand. It's pretty funny. And then, you know, there's like that variant where he's got like sunglasses and all that. And then there's an exclusive to the male pop. They just got like male or female. There's no names to these guys. It's literally called V-male. Like he glows in the dark. So I'm not sure what actually glows about him. Maybe the face. I mean, if you guys know anything about the game or if you guys seen upcoming trailers or anything, let me know what should actually glow. Is it the lines here in his face or anything he's supposed to be holding? But we got those pops on the way. Very cool for people that like the game's line. Moving on, we have some Harry Potter pops. And they get announced every single any Comic-Con, any Toy Fair, there will be Harry Potter pops. We have so many. There are two exclusive, exclusives. Barnes & Noble is getting an exclusive and the Funko Shop is getting an exclusive. So the Barnes & Noble one, Harry Potter is in his brown jacket, you see. I'm not sure what he's holding and I'm not zooming in on this picture. Okay, I can zoom in. I don't know what he's holding, but if you guys know Harry Potter books and the movies and you know what that is. Um, the Funko Shop one, he's in his pajamas and he's got like his blanket around him. Was that from the first movie? I remember that blanket and I don't think it's the same as that invisible cloak, but it's actually a really cool pop. So those are the two exclusives and then the rest of them are commons. We have Dumbledore holding baby Harry, baby Harry Potter. It's very funny looking. We have Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak. We have Neville with the monster book. We have Hermione and the feather. Now this one I think is actually really Really cool because if you see the actual picture here, I believe she's supposed to be making the, the feather move with her wand. So whatever that invisible part is, that should probably be wind, I guess, but it's probably going to be translucent. I just think that's a really cool pop. We have Ron puking slugs with bucket. We have a Malfoy with whip spider. I don't know what that is, but it looks really creepy with the spider all on his face. And then we have some two oversized pops. We have two 10 inch pops. We have Voldemir, I believe his name is. Vol oh no, my bad. Vol Voldemort. Voldemort and Nagini. This is actually pretty cool. It's got the snake around it. It looks so creepy. And we have a 10-inch Dumbledore and Fox um, pop. So this is actually pretty cool because we just had a the actual fo Fox. Am I saying that right? No. Pop released for NYCC, I believe. There were two variants to him. So it's cool that we you got like Dumbledore and like a little uh, Fox pop. And then there are some pocket pops. We have Hermione with potions. We have Snape as Bogart. Pocket Pop and Luna Lovegood. And those three, all of those three were actually, and those three Pocket Pops were actually like exclusives. I believe Luna Lovegood was like a 2017 SDCC. Um, Snape as Bogart was like Los Angeles Comic Con, I believe. And I'm not sure about her money with potions, but she might have been an exclusive of, at one point. But very cool for Harry Potter fans. So at London Toy Fair, they announced the Black Widow Pops, but I already did a video on that. So if you guys want to see every single pop that is releasing for Black Widow, check out that iCard right there. We have new Star Wars pops celebrating the 40th year for the Empire Strikes Back. We have a Han in Carbonite pop, which I think is 
a really cool pop, but it's just funny seeing it on that bass. I just think it looks it looks funny on the bass. I would definitely like remove that. We have Darth Vader in Meditation. Now this is called a deluxe pop as well, you know, because it's not just the pop, which is actually pretty cool. That would be cool if there was like lights and sounds, like you know how they've been doing with the uh, Star Wars pops. We have Luke on Tauntaun, which is, they call it a deluxe pop, but shouldn't that just be like a pop ride? We have a two pack, Han, Solo, and Leia, and Leia in a white dress, which is actually cool. Then we have like a regular Leia, and then we have training Luke with Yoda in the backpack. That's the best one. These are all very cool Star Wars pops. Moving on, we have some X-Men pops. This and one other reveal that we're gonna get to later. This is my like my favorite reveal so far. Like these X-Men pops, this Gambit and this Rogue, the exclusives. I'll show you guys what they are. I'll just put the picture up there. So we have a regular Gambit, a Combat Gambit, Combat, Combat, what? Common Gambit, where he's in the midst of throwing the card. And then we have the Entertainment Earth exclusive, which glows in the dark. That one you must get. We must have that one. The glow in the dark one. I think the whole design to it, I think is perfect. Everything they do with that. I think that is on point. And then we have Rogue. We have a common Rogue where she's like, you know, in her fight stance. And then we have one where she's flying off. Hot Topic exclusive. So we have those four pops for the X-Men line. Those are by far, like I said, like my favorite reveals. Along with another one. And we'll get to that. For the DC line, the Batman line, we have a 10 inch Joker from the Dark Knight trilogy. That's actually really cool. He's just holding like the Joker card, I believe. Is it a Joker card? Yeah, it's a Joker card. Next up, we have a Hot Topic exclusive Harley Quinn. And this one looks like the old school Harley Quinn with her, I don't know, that 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 mold right there just looks like the old school Harley Quinn pops that I've seen. Like I don't have one, but in that pop puzzle, it looks just like it. We have a Deathstroke pop. This one's actually really cool. You don't see the front, but you see him on the side and he's kind of like running or in like a, you know, action stance. It's a really, very cool pop. We have from Batman and Robin, Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy. Now, were we not just talking about this. I don't remember what video it was. We were talking about Batman. I said it would be cool to see the villains from actually Batman and Robin, Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy, which is it's just crazy that, you know, they made them. These pops are actually really cool. We got Mr. Freeze in like the whole suit, the whole setup. We got Poison Ivy. These actually look really cool. Uh, from Batman Returns, we have the Penguin and Catwoman. Now, you don't see actual like pictures of the pops because it's kind of like concept art, so they can change it pretty much at any time. But we got Penguin um, and Catwoman from the original Batman Returns. And from Batman Forever, Two-Face and Riddler. This Two-Face pop is probably gonna look really cool. He's cold in like the quarter, as always, you know, half the half of him, you see the whole suit and everything. It's actually really cool. And the Riddler. There's also a 1989 Joker that was announced. Now, I don't see it here like on Toy Fair. I don't know where this came from, but there's a 1989 Joker that I saw a couple companies put up for sale or for pre-order, should I say. Um, and there's a Chase variant to that. And the Chase variant, he has like his skin like peeling off, but all very cool pops for the, for the Batman line. Moving on, we have some more Killer Clowns pops. From left to right, the, the Killer Clown with the pink uh, balloon. He's called Spike. <laughs> these guys, these clowns are so creepy looking. I'm just staring at them like, what? And then we got the one with the boxing gloves. His name is Shorty. And then the other one is Jumbo. So you got those three killer clowns from outer space. We just had some killer clowns released for NYCC, I believe it was. Um, but there's probably so much detail on these pops. Moving on, we have American Psycho pops. I feel like a lot of people were talking about this particular pop being released like they wanted it to be released um and here it is but the actual like, stickers on this glam shot you see how it says hot topic exclusive when i went to go look up pre-order links it's swapped so the one with him in the suit holding the knife that's actually a hot topic exclusive and the other one is a common and it has the chase variant um so you guys see him he's holding the axe and the chase variant so that he would just have like the blood splatter on his face so it would probably make it a lot easier for you guys to get the chance of getting the chase if you guys are interested in that pretty cool for those who like that movie i've never seen it even though i know like how the story goes everybody just talks about it enough of that moving on we have pops from the craft now i'm not sure if this is a movie or not i do have their names is this a movie or a tv show guys there are four girls here we had nancy rochelle sarah and bonnie so if you guys like the craft but again i don't know what it is but it has to be something with like you know spells or something we have four pops for that for the pop movies line, we have Hobbs and Shaw, which is actually like a spinoff if you guys didn't know, like the Fast and the Furious. So we have Hobbs character, we have Shaw, we have Brixton, which is a new character for the actual movie. He's got like the eyes, like orangey eyes, very cool. And we have Hattie. Those are actually pretty cool if you guys like like the Fast and the Furious or Hobbs and Shaw movie. I heard it was really good. Again, I haven't seen that movie, but. So moving on, we have the SpongeBob movie. So we have three pops released 
for the SpongeBob movie, SpongeBob with Gary, and he's in his camping gear. We have Patrick in his camping gear, and he's also like a fishing net. And we have Squidward in his camping gear. Super dope if you guys like SpongeBob the movie and just SpongeBob in general. Staying in line with pop movies, we have a lot of pops for the upcoming movie Onward. So I don't know any of these characters' names. I know a couple of them. Let me see if I can get these right. So the guys up to the top left, I believe is Ian and Barley, Lightfoot. And then Barley is getting like an Amazon exclusive and he has like the, the crown on his head. And then we have a like a bear pop he's holding the sword and another pop there those are all really cool looking pops i think i've seen the trailer like a teaser trailer for it um and then we have a hot topic exclusive unicorn and then there's a chase variant to it and there's like a color swap and i believe the chase variant also has glitter it's like a blue glitter or something so those are actually pretty cool pops still and i'm sure the movie's gonna be good we have three pops for the great mouse detective which is actually pretty cool. We got Basil, Radigan, and Olivia, all very well detailed. Radigan actually looks super cool. For Wallace and Gromit, is that what it says? Wallace and Gromit, we have three pops. The weird looking guy is actually Wallace. Gromit is the dog and Sean the sheep is the sheep. <laughs> really cool looking pops. I don't know anything about that movie or anything. Really cool looking pops. We have five pops for Adventures of the Gummy Bears. When was that ever a thing? This is a Disney thing too. I don't even remember all of, all of this. But we have Gruffy, we have Tummy, we have Cuby, Cubby, Zummy, and Sunny. The Gummy Bear Pops. Gummy. It would be cool if we actually had Gummy Bear at Icon Pops. I don't know what the adventures of Gummy Bears are, but it's a little Disney show, I guess. Masters of the Universe has a whole ton of pops. I don't know if I'm gonna go through all these. So we have a 10-inch Skeletor. We have a He-Man on Battle Cat Pop Ride. It actually looks pretty cool. We have Tongue Lasher. We have Prince Adam, Sorceress, another He-Man pop, Skyclone, Mosquito, and Webstar. And now Webstar actually has a Hot Topic exclusive, which, uh, he's just darker? Is that it? Oh, he's metallic. He's a metallic one, but he looks darker. Like I showed you guys that glam shot. He actually looks darker. Those are all really cool pops. And if you guys are Masters of the Universe fans, you'll love them. For Nickelodeon, we have five pops for The Legend of Korra. Now, is this similar to Avatar The Last Airbender or is it like a character from Avatar The Last Airbender? I don't know, but the pops look very similar and they look really cool. So I'll start with, there's a chase variant of Korra. I believe that's Korra, hope it's Korra. She's on the base and she's kind of like floating up there and then the chase variant to her, she would be glowing in the dark. That's very similar to Aang, the Aang pop that was released. And then we have Korra with, I believe should be like fire and water around her, which is actually very cool. We have Mako, Amon, and uh, Asami, Asami Sato, Sato. So those are actually very cool looking. Moving on to my favorite release, my other favorite release other than X-Men, we have the pops from Dinosaurs. If you guys remember this, all I remember about this was not the mama. That little baby Sinclair, he would always like, this is so funny. That little baby Sinclair would always hit them over the head and would just say like, not the mama. It was so funny. I will go from left to right. You see Earl Sinclair, you see the mom, Fran Sinclair, the bottom left, is Robbie Sinclair. The one on the right is Charlene and the best one is Baby Sinclair. Right in the middle with his, I believe, what is it, a pot? I think it was a pot that he was, he was always holding. I find these so hilarious. I need all of these. Moving on, hopefully this video is not terribly long. We have some Star Trek pops from Star Trek The Discovery. Now, I think the names are swapped when I see this on the page here. Um, Saru and Michael Burnham, but this one is definitely like a girl. Why would her name be Michael? So the names might be swapped, but we got those two pops for Star Trek Discovery. We have some Creep Show pops. I don't know what this is. They are literally creepy. We got Creep Show Genie, we got the Scarecrow, and we got the Creep, literally. We have from Murder, She Wrote, Jessica Lang. Is that her name? I believe that was her name, Jessica Lang. Murder, She Wrote, I would just call her Murder, She Wrote and she's in like her trench coat and she's holding her bag and she's holding, I believe the microphone? I believe because she was like a reporter. This is very cool. We have some Fantasy Island pops. So we have Mr. Work and he's holding, I believe like a wine glass. No, yeah, I don't know what he's holding. And we have Fantasy Island Tattoo, which is the shorter dude. Um, so those are actually pretty cool. We have a bunch of Funkoverse strategy games were announced. Uh, we have a Jurassic Park one. We have, which is actually really cool because then you get like a little mini T-Rex. Oh my goodness, love Jurassic Park. We got the Golden Girl, so that's actually pretty cool. And we got Agretsuko, which is called Funkoverse Game Expansion. So probably like an extension of the, for the games line. We have James Brown for the Pop Rocks line. It's actually pretty cool. We have from the rock band Weezer Rivers Cuomo. The guitar looks really cool and really detailed. We have a lot for the Pop Rocks line. We have Salt and Pepper, 
pepper. What? <laughs> we have salt and pepper, not pepper. Pepper with an A. That's actually pretty cool. Who is this? This is definitely not Pop Rocks. Papa Nahil from Ghost. That's a Hot Topic exclusive. It actually looks really creepy. And then they go back to Pop Rocks. We got Lil Wayne, not Little, Lil, L I L. And he's got the red, red hat. Looks very much like Lil Wayne. Sam! Where were we at? We have Willie Nelson for the Pop Rocks line. He's holding his acoustic electric guitar or electric acoustic guitar. I don't know, but it's like plugged in. So it looks like an electric guitar. And the bandana says, what? I never happened. <laughs> Very cool. We have three pops from the band Slayer, I believe this is. And there we have Jeff Hanneman, Tom Araya, and Kerry King, and they all got the guitars. And we have three more pops for the Pop Rocks band Z Top. <laughs> what is it? ZZ Top? I don't know. I've never heard of this band. We have Billy Gibbons, and he's the one with the brown, the gray hat, or I guess they both have gray hats. He's got like the brown beard, and then you got Dusty Hill um, with the not brown beard. And then we got Frank Beard. Oh my goodness, this is actually called Frank Beard, but he doesn't have a beard. He actually has drums. This is actually pretty cool if the drums would be separate because there was another pop rocks band and there were drums attached, but they should have been separate, I feel, but they were attached to the actual pop. So if this pop here actually has separate drums, that would actually be pretty cool. We have Easy E and he's got his Compton hat. Looks very much like Easy E here. He's got the sunglasses and he's got the black jacket on. Very cool. And Slipknot. We have three of those guys. They look like the Purge Pops almost a little bit. So like I said, there are a lot of pops for the Pop Rocks line. I'm assuming they're all gonna be a pop, pop rocks, even though it's like not rock, it's rap, country. Still in the actual pop rocks line. We got two other reveals for pops that I'm gonna be going through. We have Motorhead Pops. What is this from? Not sure what this is from, but we have Warpig. He's got the silver, he's got the horns, and then we have Lemmy. He's got like the uh, cowboy hat, the skull. Oh, and Shania Twain. Totally missed that. That's for Pop Rocks. And she's in like a leopard print dress, I guess. I don't know what she's in, but that's for Pop Rocks as well. So those are pretty much all of the pops that were revealed. That was so many that I just went through. I hope this video is not terribly long. And lastly, we're gonna cover because Funko just announced this today. This is kind of like a new thing. This is called, let's pull this up so we get this right, Funko Vinyl Soda. I'm actually really excited for this. I, I think this is actually pretty cool because it's like, it's something different. These look like mystery minis. So included with each soda can, So included with each soda can is a 4.25 inch vinyl figure and a collectible disc, both with a one in six chase variants. I'll just show you guys the ones that you guys can get. So there's Batman, Robin, and Wonder Woman. And on the left, you guys see the regular colors of Batman, Robin, and Wonder Woman. And then on the right, there's a one in six chance of getting all of those chases. So the chase colors are gold Batman, gold Robin, and then like a silver Wonder Woman and they're limited to certain piece numbers. So Batman is limited to 10,000 pieces, Robin 7,500, Wonder Woman 10,000, and then we got Hanna-Barbera, we got Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble, Huckleberry Hound, Jabberjaw, who's that guy? Peter Apotamus, and the Great Ape, which is actually pretty cool because that's like a metallic variant, the Chase one. Barney Rubble and Fred Flintstone is blue and Barney Rubble looks uh, like Fred for some reason. He's purple. So those are actually pretty cool. And you guys will see the piece numbers there, like 7,500, 6,000, such and such. Masters of the Universe has some soda cans here. We got He-Man and Skeletor. And the Chase variant is green. Skeletor is just got like, oh, he's a little darker purple. Oh, he's got like a totally different suit. Those are limited to 10,000 pieces. Nothing crazy like at 2,000 pieces or 1,500 yet that we know of. We got some Thundercats. We got Lion-O and Mumra, Frankenberry and Count Chocula. We got Big Boys, Burgers, Big Boy. We got the Green Hornet and Kato. We got uh, Batfink and that's the last one. Who is Batfink? Batfink, I believe is the highest piece number or the lowest piece number. He's limited to 5,000 pieces. There's no other one that has a piece number that's higher or lower. Ooh, which one would it be? I don't know. I did come across some out of box pictures. I will show you guys this. So this is what they're gonna look like in person. They're almost like the same size of like the soda can, but I actually think these are just really cool. And it's again, it's something very different. So I think this was like a good move on Funko's part. I'm very excited for those actually. And they don't look like the actual character. They got a little like funny face going on to them. Anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Hope this video helped you out a little bit. If it did, drop a like. I'm signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.